fuck, 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 fuck. I told AJ that what he'd done was murder, that he'd have to atone for it. Atone. The other kids agreed. They voted to kick us out. I thought we'd never return. Then, AJ and I were attacked by Abel, one of the raiders Marlin had given the twins to. He was with someone I thought I'd never see again. Lily. We were almost eaten by walkers when suddenly one of them spoke to me. His name was James, an ex-whisperer who didn't believe in killing walkers. He helped me treat AJ, but without real medicine, he wouldn't make it. The kids didn't turn away the sad sight of AJ and let us back inside. After I told them how we could defend the school against the raiders, they were willing to let us stay, at least until the fight. I decided to help Violet in the bell tower. We looked at the stars together, and I admitted I had feelings oh, yeah, for her. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. She felt the same way. <clears throat> then the raiders finally came. They busted open our gates, but the kids stayed hidden as planned. Until Ten ran out of cover, hoping for a chance to learn about his missing sisters. The bomb went off, and attempting to save Ten, Mitch threw himself at Lily and got a knife to the throat. With only a second to decide, I fired and saved Violet. They got away with three of our friends, and we had no idea where they'd gone. But we knew someone who did. All right, we're back. Thank God they gave us a recap because I, I completely forgot what happened. I forgot that we were in the rain. I don't, like I said, I don't know if I should play the Fallout 4 in VR. I mean, that looked like my favorite Fallout, but I don't know. I'll debate on it. This, we'll see how the VR turns out like no I was looking into it I looked into it like a, a week or two weeks ago it was on sale I was like should I get this should I play this but I didn't I didn't end up buying it so Mitch. Can you hear that? The my phone? Uh, <sighs> What's next? At the start, I was so little and Mitch looked after me. People said he was a dick sometimes, but he was always nice to me. Good riddance. Now he's gone. They want you to go on. We'll give her a shot. Tapped in the eye by some asshole who never even knew his name. Mitch was looking after all of us. He gave his life so we could go on fighting. I know that. Doesn't make it any easier. Yikes. He'd want us to find our friends and bring them home safe. And he'd want us to kill the people who took them. Uh-oh. Hey, AJ's waiting for you in the basement. We got Abel tied up tight. He's alive, but he's out cold. Thanks. We should bury Mitch. It's time. Damn. I'll help you kill Get away from him! <laughs> You're the reason he's dead! Willie! Well, it's true! We had a plan and that idiot messed it up! Come on, Willie. None of this is Ten's fault. You know who's really to blame. I can't believe you're defending him! This... This is bullshit! Ten! I'll oh, take care man. of this. Talk to Abel, find out where Lily took Lewis, Omar, and Asim. 
And Clem, don't be afraid to, you know, hurt him a little. Oh, okay. Maybe you'll get more out of him than we did. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Interrogate Abel. Bam. Come on, doggy. Zero. him. Should be strong enough to hold him. Tape? What's with them using duct tape? What the fuck? Oh. Uh, can you use all these to interrogate him? School pride. Brody. Oh, the girl. Is that a revolver? Sounds like it. Oh, that's cool. Might still work. Could probably use that as a map or something. Oh. Got your gun back, huh? Uh huh. You ain't got ammo in there, though. Ready? Slap him, shatter him, drench him. Drench him? Shell at him. Let age awake him, drench him, slap him. Drench him with what? dream too about a girl I used to know from before she also had me tied up but I wasn't a prisoner if you get my meaning <laughs> Yikes. got any water drink you got good manner squirt <laughs> You've had your water. Now it's time to talk. It's the first time interrogating someone, isn't it? <laughs> you let me dictate the agenda. Makes me think you're weak. Don't make this harder than it needs to be, okay? I just want to know where Lily took my people. It doesn't matter. As soon as she gets there, she's going to turn around and come right back for me. <laughs> you better give me the five-star treatment. If I'm smiling when she gets here, you might be able to trade me for a little mercy. We underestimated you. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! Yeah. The fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. That ain't five star. Tell us where they took our friends, or she'll do it again. <laughs> Lily will never give them up. The only reason we came here was for more manpower. Losing Jonathan and me. Three sprouts that can barely hold a gun. Even a dummy like me can do the math on that one. We're gonna get him back. You don't know what it's like out there. It's a bloodbath. One community against another. From Richmond to the coast. Back at the Delta, we're at war. 
with some really sick fucks who make me look like the Virgin Mary. We need people to fight it. <clears throat> Soldiers who do what we say, point the guns the way we tell them to. You little turds are supposed to be easy pickings. That's called kidnapping. Give it whatever name you want. I call it survival. What kind of place is this Delta if they use forced labor to defend it? You think we like doing raids like this? Our home is under threat. It's a good home. Built to last. I'd do a lot to protect it. Maybe you can understand that. And I do a lot to get my friends back. So stop wasting my time. Okay. Ooh. Front pocket. I answered all your questions. What? Why would it be there? Is he gonna try to attack us? Read it. Whatsoever parteth the hoof and is cloven footed and cheweth the cud among the beasts that shall ye eat. What the fuck? Is this code? No, it's fucking Leviticus. I was hoping it'd be some timely, moralistic shit about turning the other cheek. Well, come on. That thing ain't gonna light itself. Wanna know where your friends are? Smoke will clear my mind. Help me remember stuff. You and you see, can take like where Lily went. Come on, kid. Don't make me wait all day. <coughs> nah, let's, let's calm down for a bit. Now that is heavenly. <coughs> <coughs> Is that poison? Oh, shit. That's a lot of blood. Oh, fuck. This is not good. He's gonna die, isn't he? We can patch him up, I hope so. We have medicine. We can still patch him up. I don't think so. When you pushed me off that balcony, something must have burst inside of me. <laughs> no medicine can fix this. <laughs> Shit. I never wanted things to end like this. Everything. It all got out of hand. Now look at me. I'm a fucking mess. Will he turn? No! <laughs> My, my whole life, everything I ever got, I got with my own two hands and my will for my body to turn on me, to take control. I'll tell you where to find Lily. Just promise you won't let me turn. I'm and begging slit, you. Give him your word. If you're honest with me, I'll put you out of your misery. You have my word. Okay, we have a boat. We're docked a few miles west of here at an old fishing pier. Your friends are on the boat. Hmm. You, you got what you wanted. Please, don't let me become one of those things. Please, I don't want to turn. I feel like if I let him turn, he's going to kill one of us. <laughs> Fuck it. Not that. I want to let me keep my face. <clears throat> I want you to see this. You don't have to watch. Huh. Let's create AJ, a psychopath. Don't look away. I want you to see this. I want to. Whoa! <laughs> oh. 
Boom. <laughs> it just looks like you for guidance you. in this world. Yeah. You just torture a man in front of him. Good. Come on, we have a boat to find. Calm down. Once we find the boat, we'll look for a way to sneak on board. Yeah, if Ten doesn't fuck it up this time. It wasn't Ten's fault. Yes, it was. Mitch died because he... Say one more thing about Ten. I dare you. Whoa, man. Guys, look. You see one torture and you try to go Rambo? Calm down. <laughs> you see anything? The beach, um, a boat, and a, a wood street in the water. That's called a pier. Hmm. Pier. Okay, let's spread out and focus on those areas. Keep your heads low. on the Raiders. Let's go with my girlfriend. You ever seen this boat before? No. Marlin kept us confined to the safe zone. Pier leading up to the boat? It's our only way in and out. Well, let's see what else is down there. Okay. I can see an entrance. I saw that too. It looks like there's a door at the other end. There's a small opening at the top of those closed doorways. AJ and I know how to deal with those. There's no good cover leading up to the boat. We're gonna need one hell of a distraction. Walker! That was quick. <laughs> Damn, notice how fast they all responded? Maybe if we could get walkers on the beach somehow. <gasps> Maybe not as hard as you'd think. Okay. There are a few on deck. A couple others on the pier. Could be more inside. Looks like they're well armed too. Mm-hmm. Wait, I see Lewis. Abel wasn't lying. This is it. What else do we have? The pier has plenty of cover on it. If we're careful, we can sneak in undetected. I don't see any obvious place to keep prisoners. They're probably below deck. We should have asked Abel. When he said on a boat, I didn't think it'd be this big. Let's talk to him. I feel like he's gonna fuck it up somehow. Anything useful? Looks like building material. Furniture. Probably stuff from the train station. They're loading those rafts with supplies. I could cut those loose and just ride them down river. Easy! We could burn these or cut them this. Oh, okay. I feel like the best thing to do for that is sheet metal, wood, and quite a bit of it. it. We should have that stuff. Huh. Are those torches? Maybe. Why? We could use the fire. OK. 
Okay. Now where's my little dude? Oh, he's right here. Find anything over here? They have horses. Let me see. If we cut those horses free, we could slow down anyone trying to chase us. We should get rid of their horses. Definitely. More torches. I feel like the horses. Setting hay on fire would get their attention. Scare the horses too. We could get on the boat easier that way. Let nothing. We should get by. out of here before they spot us. We can talk through the plan once we're somewhere safe. I feel like the horses might be the best, best way to do it. It distracts them. It weakens their transportation. And it helps us escape easier. What's the plan? Well, they've got guards posted on the pier and the boat. There's no way we can take them all at once. Our only hope is to distract them while we sneak on board. We should burn their stuff. That'd work. We could burn the supplies or the hay they keep for the horses. Mm -hmm. Whatever we don't burn, we should take. Ruby would love to have the horses. But I'd rather steal those supplies. Yeah. yeah. We'll steal their supplies and burn the hay as our distraction. If you're going to steal from the rafts, you have to do it carefully. Wouldn't do it any other way. The fire will lure the raiders away from the boat, and we can sneak across the pier. If anyone sees us, they'll shoot! You remember that guy I told you about, James? He sent in walkers to save us from Lily and Abel. Maybe we could convince him to do it again. If we lead a big enough group of them onto the beach, we can blend in without being seen. What the fuck? Perfect. What about after we get everyone home? I mean... The raiders will just come attack us again. What then? Hide, quick! Oh, fuck. <laughs> A raider has to be. You all stay here. I'll see if they know anything that could help us. A trap. It's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> 